Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I told you last week that I would be building a replica of the Leech Trench catapult. It was a huge catapult used early in World War I. Uh, it was used to lob hand grenades and homemade grenades into the uh, trenches of the enemy. But of course it is necessary to lob them in an angle so that they can drop in into the trench. You can't shoot anything straight into a dugout trench. Well, I've done it, and here it is. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Of course, it was meant to be leaned against the wall of a trench, but my wife forbade me to dig out a trench in our new garden. Therefore, I've made a trench replica from wood. I also made a little inclinometer because it was set that the original had one too. I didn't know how it looked like, so I, I made my own design. As you see, this is now uh, clocked at about 55 degree, which is too steep for a far throw, but it can be adjusted. Like the original, it is outfitted with a winch to overcome the enormous draw weight of the rubber. And um, the uh, steel wire goes over a roller here, so that the shot is in line with uh, the bands. I did modify the original design and converted it to TheraBand Gold because I think that is superior rubber and Mr. Pemberton would have used it if it would have been available back then. I also used the clamp-on method because it's super strong. This release was actually a lot of work because I couldn't find it uh, prefabricated so I had to make it from scratch from flat iron and it really works very simple because what happens is that if you press down this lever then the shot falls. Originally, the World War I soldiers used jam tin grenades. These were grenades made from tin cans, actually two in one, and um, the uh, space between the inner and the outer one was filled with like BBs. Um, I'm using veritable cat food. Let's hope that the cans won't shatter on impact so my cats won't have to starve. <laughs> so I just measured that all the way to my shed. It's about 60 meters. Okay, let's cock it. It can be handled with one person alone. That's a very cool design. You can of course adjust the power of the shot um, depending on how far you cock it back. Okay, that's fair enough for our first shot. Okay, stand by, and then you shoot! Next week I'll have a German television team from Spiegel TV here. They want to film me making an episode. Actually, that's why I'm not going to show you today how it flies, how far it flies, what kind of damage you can cause when you hit something with it. This is all up for next week, so stay tuned. Anyway, I hope you liked it because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.